Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you just truly love this injury, the mad. No, what was our plan? We wait, 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 wait. Let me just check. Tell check Janet is interested in him. That'll work. Yeah, let's do that. Also, apparently, recruiting Poon did not get me the achievement for unlocking an and a companion, and as such, that achievement may be lost to me forever. Possibly, maybe. Really? So we may see our dream of flight soon? Maybe. Maybe. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Good news. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? I spoke to Pearl, but Janet needs a way past the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? I have, and I'll be right back. Oh, well. See ya. Let's tell her she can just walk in and get exploded. Sounds like a plan. Also, my hand is really bright right now. Arm, even. Crimson Caravan! That is kind of silly. I had to have two load screens just to get to one place. Uh, but through the magic of everything, that problem did not actually make its way onto the screen. McLafferty's been riding. Yo. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about him again. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? You have permission. They know you're coming. I got a boomer uniform for you to wear while across the nose. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Asses again. Better lay low. I could try. She was over here, right? Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? Hello. 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 Welcome back. Uh, Janet asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, uh, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Oh, I need to level up a bit. I need to consider your offer. Take all the time you need. See ya. It's been a pleasure. My speech is not high enough level up yet. Hello. Luckily, I was able to walk away from the situation without having to resort to other things. The crash B29 is quite far away. But I suppose it is time for me to focus on that. Wests. Volare? Volare? Whichever. Machinga Magir. Yes. Also, morning. We need morning. Get me morning. Because I shit you not, it gets dark at night. At the darkness. It is not a friendly thing. I think it loads me. Not to be mistaken for loves me. They did that joke in the bard's tale. Silly Viking like the people. Raiders. Very silly, indeed. I had to quit the game at that point because I didn't do very well past that. It's a shame I could start the series in that game. For some reason, it crashed. Anyway, once we have helped the good people of uh, Nellis, I guess, we will uh, head towards the Honest Hearts DLC. Because apparently that's the best one to do first. Maybe. I don't know. But the DLC content in this game is 
apparently in the ways of you go there and you don't get out of there until you finish it all. But I think it was the same with uh, Fallout 3, wasn't it? Oops. I should have snuck. I should have 360 that no scope. That's a big one. I don't think this is a safe area to travel. Golden geckos are evil. They're not as bad as the fire ones, but they're still pretty, pretty evil. I have the option to ignore them, but I have the option to also shoot them. And I'm not sure which is preferable. This one. Luckily they did not hear me shoot the ground over here. Right. Got one. And got two. These sneak attack criticals are actually pretty beneficial. Oh, 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 there is another enemy. Uh, two more enemies detected. They may be dangerous. You don't know. Oh, nice. An egg. It's. Does it have as good value to weight ratio as the heights do? It's not exactly bad either. Okay, I think they're behind that hill and Edith's senses are just, you know, really good. And we are not just going to die now because there are three enemies on the horizon. Grab the tide and run. And when I say run, I mean sneak hastily. Yes. Because running, actually, might be already. Ooh, there's a container or the well, a truck. A truck of stuff. Oh, there's more than three enemies over there. A lot more than three enemies over there. I think they might be up that hill. Oh yeah, I saw one. Can explosives cause sneak attack criticals? Because if they can, I do have like this one. That might be very good for a sneak attack critical. If you can get those with a uh, explosive weapon, which I don't know if you can. Right, there's a red marker on the horizon, dead space choke, and stuff. So yay for no necromorphs. That's a lot safer. A red marker. Those on the other hand are not. Indeed. ED, uh, can you turn your senses down? I don't actually know how bad the situation is. Because your senses are crazy. Crazy, I tell ya. Alright, we're gonna just poke our head over this hill. That's death cause. Nice. We are certainly not stirring up this hive. Let's just keep on keeping on. And whatever. Carry on carrying on. That's for sure. Alright. There's also a more rat 
Yeah, that's okay. Not much of a problem. No. I'm not gonna have a hunting rifle, so I can... I can turn over to hunting instead. Uh, should the need arise. Let's just hope it doesn't arise. If I had gone with a hard guard, the need to hunt would certainly have displayed itself. Probably. You know, because food. Can I get XP from this? Without getting in trouble? Please tell me I did get in trouble. I didn't get in trouble. I got in trouble. Don't blast that music. We don't need to blast that funky music, ED. That's just more more rats. Are they who are cautious of me, or is it the death claws? Because I really don't know. I really hope it's not the death claws. I'm starting, run from me. starting to suspect it isn't more than one enemy that's cautious. They're looking that way, so um, please tell me it's not more than one death claw. Because as we recall, death claws are the purest force of evil that has been spawned by this whole radioactive mess. No, you. Oh, these are gazodons. Those are blood flies. These are not blood flies. This is something else entirely. Something like. Really up in my face, for example. Are you okay, Boon? Edie, where are you going? Edie, come back. Don't just run away in that direction like that. Ooh, that's a really expensive poison gland. Good thing no one got poisoned then, eh? Uh, uh, unless that's what Boon was warning about. Oh, so what was that noise? That was a really creepy noise. Alright, um... Spotter, you don't see anyone. Good. We're in caution again there. There was something over on that side. Any other threats to be worried about? Apparently not. So it remains a matter of being cautious at all times, so I'm kinda worried. Also there's apparently someone over there. Who is not entirely aggressive, so um, I think it's time to drink up a little. We could do with some health. And we're currently not in a combat situation, so we can have a drink or something. Ah. Alright, there's a red marker. Oh, joy. How do I shoot that? Not like that. It looks like uh, Hannibal in A-Team in that suit of his. Come on. I'm really terrible at the shot. Maybe if I just wait for the person to line instead of trying to aim for it actively, that would work. Late lurk. At least it isn't a mile lurk. So it's still very lurky. Very lurky. Indeed. Like a big pile of lurk. Alright, the plane is apparently over there somewhere, so... Maybe I should head for that instead of going to try and to collect on the corpse. Guess we kill the thing. This should be a corpse too. Loot. Should be. 
And there is also. Yeah, you better swim in there over there. Let's see. Eat this. That didn't work. Okay, it's certainly aware of me now. Mine. And Boone is certainly already doing the combat maneuvers. It's not really easy to see, is it? But there we go. Teamwork, buddy. Still nothing, buddy. Alright, and there we have a Garazador Ramor War. Yes. That was the name. I think, maybe. Something very close to that anyway. Is that the Hoover Dam? I expected it to look a little less glitchy. Still not sure why the game doesn't want to do that thing where it's looking less glitchy. Complete uncertain. Hmm. Okay, there's a campsite we could use. If you wish to. And here's a fisherman's pride shack. Where we find the fisherman's pride, which is an episode of other. Or a harmonica. Or a squirrel stew. Or a metal spoon. Now, the important question, of course, is. Does he have a spatula? I see no signs of a spatula. So it's completely possible that there is no spatula. Disappointing, but... This is how the world sometimes goes. You can't always have a spatula. Even if you wanted to. I think that was another star cap. How many did I need for that whole thing with the quest? Metal cooking pan? But still no sign of a spatula. Fine, we're leaving. There's no point hanging around in a base with no spatula. That's how the looks. Right then. Right, they have sonic attacks in this one. Did they do anything special in the other one? I don't remember. White horse nettle. I don't actually need that for anything, do I? Okay, come on. Do the aim thing. And for the other one, do the aim thing as well, as soon as we actually get out of looking at this guy's watch. Apparently they don't have a lot of health. That's okay. Where's that plane? It's too early to get this dark. The color ring doesn't look like a radiation storm though, so we should be fine. If this is a radiation storm, we run back into the shack and hide. It might be a radiation storm. Still uncertain. Empty. Empty. Wait, this is fresh water. Nice. Well, using a sniper rifle in this situation is going to be completely useless, I guess. Alright, uh, let's just swim out and see if we can find the plane. We can see better underwater right now, but is the whole situation with the whole thing with the whole storm oh wait no 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 the sand is making its way underwater so that 
Let's join. Is this a pleasant video? Yes. Just a storm. We have no sign of anything else, just sand. Sand and more sand. We don't know where we're going. Our only way of uh, knowing where we are going is the marker. Which is... Well... Oh, we have discovered the crash to be plenty thingy. Which reminds me, don't we have a rebreather? We do. Okay, cool. A Dutch ballast. And... Do, 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 do. A Dutch ballast. What does the water breed the water breathing mask look like even? It takes away my glasses. That's not nice. Okay, um Where are my glasses? I was using sunglasses, right? Yeah. So we're supposed to run the the surface. Well sure. Sure we are. Short only. Uh, let's see, what map? Apparently we don't have to head far. But there is still the fact that um, we really can't see shit. Maybe if we wait a day. Are we allowed to wait a day? Try to wait a day. Can we get rid of the storm this way? Let's see if maybe waiting till morning is enough. And it was not enough. Well, actually it is. Good. Because I wouldn't want to do this in a storm. It would be really, uh, really awkward. Also, a lot of mines. But this sounded like mines. What was that? <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I need to steal some hats. Eat this. Sadly, he doesn't look like he has a hat.